I'm here tonight to discuss an issue which you've heard about, which is the notion of electing council members by district. And as you can well appreciate, it would have a dramatic impact on everyone sitting in this room, everyone who lives in Mary. And it would have, in my opinion, a chilling impact on what I hope would be a robust election process. Here's why. Imagine the council, without a public vote, without a public hearing, by a majority, not a super majority, could dramatically change the way you and I elect all the seven members who represent all of us. If I chose, for example, to run against Councilmember Clark when she was up for re-election, but she did not live in my district, and there could be seven districts, I could not do that. Why? Because the city council would have decided only the people who live in an area that they decide, probably not them, not a good idea, they couldn't anyway, but that someone decides the parameters of that neighborhood. So I couldn't choose to run against anyone running because I'd be limited to the people in my neighborhood or my district or ward, whatever you call it. I think that does not invite a robust election process. I think in addition, it leads to cronyism. Here's why, you live in a neighborhood, I hope you have community policing. Community policing means we gather together as a community. It's tough when you have a small district and you're my neighbor and I don't like the fact that you're the elected representative, but we're neighbors, so am I gonna run against you? Probably not. So cronyism is another concern I have. Also, it balkanizes a city. It's small districts pitted against each other. Finally, I've been told, and I hope this is not true, that it would increase diversity. Why? How does that work? Tell me how dividing a city would incur, increase the opportunity for minority members to be a part of the, of the uh, city council. When I was on the districting committee, I can tell you our attorney told us we must be blindfolded to race, color, or economic considerations. They cannot be considered. So I invite my city council members to hopefully retain the system we have, which I think is democratic. I think you all have the best interests of in your city. And stay tuned, members, fellow members of the community, and Thank you for your time, and I appreciate what you're all doing.